report released this morning reveals the top global risks for 2021. Every year, Eurasia Group, that's a political risk research and consulting firm, ranks the top 10 geopolitical risks that we are likely to face in the new year. And the report says, let's go uh, in reverse order. The third greatest risk is climate change. The second is the long-term effects of the coronavirus pandemic. And it says that the greatest risk is political polarization right here in America and the ways it could affect Joe Biden's presidency. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today, I just got a quick uh, video for you. Um, I just wanted to show you this as part of my argument that the media over time right now is pivoting to what will be, you know, Democrat state media propaganda for a possible Joe Biden regime. In some past videos, I've shown you that they're already rationalizing that they're not going to fact check Joe Biden because they claim that he's not a big liar, even though he's got a long history of lying and has been lying repeatedly during this campaign. Basically, what's happening here is that the media is slowly pivoting to being Joe Biden propaganda, and they're rolling out all their excuses for this right now. The other day, it was that they can't fact check Joe Biden because he just tells the truth all the time, even though we know that's not the case. He's lied for decades. He had to drop out of a presidential campaign for lying. And then he lied all through this campaign, but they just didn't fact check him. Now, some group called the Eurasia Group, whoever the hell that is, has put out a report saying that there's three big threats to this country going into 2021. And those threats are, of course, climate change, but then they get to coronavirus and it seems like an afterthought. They're not worried about coronavirus they're worried about the after effects of coronavirus which tells you that they're gonna wrap this all up going into 2021 and then they're gonna be looking at all the things that they're gonna do all the rights they're gonna take away all the great things they're gonna do worldwide to implement communism and change the world so that we'll be better set up for another coronavirus but then the real brain buster comes at number one and it shouldn't surprise me but surprise surprise the big threat to this country will be criticism of Joe Biden just go back I can look at the Obama administration. Any kind of criticism that was thrown at uh, Barack Obama was listed as racist. The media separated any bad news from Barack Obama like nothing that ever happened had anything to do with him. And then they claimed that the administration was scandal free. Then we get into the Trump administration and suddenly everything's a scandal. Everything is politically polarized. They're calling Trump a Russian agent, a racist, a sexist, a bigot, a homophobe. They're calling his supporters racist, sexist, deplorable, bigot, homophobe, xenophobes. They start mass protests that started the day that Trump won the election that carried on for the next four years. Oh, but no, 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 you don't understand. They're allowed to be as politically partisan polarized as they want to be. It's different when they do it. So yeah, not a lot to say about this, but it's just another hint of the way things are going to go from here on out. If indeed Biden becomes the president, there will be no criticism of Joe Biden. The only criticism and scrutiny that you're going to see coming out of the media will be of critics of Joe Biden. Anybody who comes out and scrutinizes him or has anything negative to say about him will be set upon by the media. I don't know. Is it just me or is this country looking increasingly like the CCP? That's all for this one. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so using one of the links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.